Well, I think back then, back I think then, it was yeah. just the way, it was just the <laughs> Irish guys. And I think as we've gone on, we've definitely, you know, we've changed. And I think we've kind of seen this as an opportunity to educate men. Yes. Um, we've been very strong in the last few years on consent. Um, and I think we've been, you know, ultimately we do fitness fun, uh, fashion, news, whatever else. But ultimately there's a, there's a serious moment that all men go through in life on various different things from testicular cancer to mental health yeah. and in areas like consent. I mean, we all see what's going on in the world. I think men, young men need to be educated in that. And we, we've, been, we've been held up in high regard in that in terms of a lot of left-leaning feminist voices and said, those guys at Joe are doing a really good job in educating men. So that, that's how we've evolved. Yes. So it start wasn't one of those like bragging testosterone lad mag kind of things you expect no, to see in the UK. No, no, I mean, been from a uh, West of Ireland background, I don't think I would have been allowed back into the house, you know, with <laughs> a Catholic mom at home. She just, <laughs> that wouldn't have worked with me, yeah. no, definitely not. And her...